Squarespace uses a 12 column system to organize its content on the page. 12 is a common number used in web layouts because of how flexible it is. You can easily have content span all 12 columns, or divide the page into halves, thirds, quarters, or any other combination that is divisible by 12. As I resize the content below, you can see the content snap to each grid line. While the 12 column system makes it incredibly easy to organize content on the page, some drawbacks should be noted. Because the columns are given predefined percentage widths, if you want content to be slightly wider or slightly shorter, you're out of luck. You're confined to moving up or down a whole column size. This also means that smaller columns on desktop appear really small as you shrink the browser window. 8% of a larger desktop screen size might look good, but 8% of a tablet will look terrible. So be cognizant of this while you design. Finally, the number of columns must be divisible by 12, so you can't put five blocks evenly next to each other. Within the 12 column grid, Squarespace organizes blocks into columns and rows. When you drag two blocks next to each other, the blocks are placed in columns and the columns are automatically placed inside of a row. On mobile, columns within a row stack on top of each other from left to right. It is important to pay attention to the little blue line that appears when dragging a block onto the page because where you drop the block determines if you will be adding the block to a column or creating a row. Let's look at an example that illustrates the subtle yet very important difference between the two. Here on the page I have an image block. I want to add text below the image as well as to the right of the image. First I will drag a text block to the right of the image. Then I will drag another text block directly below the image, making sure the little blue line is directly under the image. In the section below, I will do the same layout except this time when I add the text block below the image, I will make sure the little blue line is not directly beneath the image, and instead spans the width of the page. These two layouts look exactly the same on desktop, but structurally they are completely different, and therefore will have very different results on mobile. On mobile, the text that was to the right of the image in the first section will appear after the block of text below the image. But in the second section, it will appear first. This is because in the first section, the content was organized into two columns, where in the second section, the image and text to the right were organized into a row. Occasionally people reach out for CSS help because their content isn't appearing how they expected it to on mobile, when really it's just a matter of how they drag the blocks onto the page. So make sure you pay attention to that little blue line when you are dragging blocks onto the page. Alright guys, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.